إذا كنت تريد أن تكون على مذهب السلف تعلم مذهب السلف الحمد لله رب العالمين ولا عاقبة للمتقين ولا عدوان إلا على الظالمين وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلوات الله والسلام عليه وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد So just to quickly recap بإذن الله تعالى that we mentioned last lesson that we finished uh, the last two remaining conditions for the hadith which is sahih and that is the shurut as-salbiyyah that we mentioned the negative conditions and that is firstly adam al wa adam al there is no irregularity and there is no hidden defect then we went we went on to mention uh, just a general overview of uh, narrations that are transmitted to us and we mentioned that there are three types of transmitted narrations the first one is hadith which we defined as ما أضيف إلى النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم من قول أو فعل أو تقرير أو وصف خلقي أو خلقي that which is attributed to the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم by way of statements, actions, uh, tacit approval or physical attributes and characteristics and then we said also that there is uh, يعني from those narrations that are transmitted to us uh, is that which is referred to as an athar as an athar and we mentioned هو ما يختص بما أضيف إلى من دون دون النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم من الصحابة أو التابعين أو من بعدهم so is that which is specifically attributed to other than the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم so an athar we mentioned is that which is attributed specifically to other than the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم either a sahabi either a companion or a tabi'i or those uh, who have come after them. طيب, then we mentioned the last and the third category, which is known as Al-Khabar. Al-Khabar. And Al-Khabar uh, is a general term for both of these two terms. So it's a general term for both Hadith and Athar. So when we hear the term Khabar, that it could be referring to a Hadith, or it could be referring to an Athar. So now we move on to the ways of transmission between the narrators. So there are three ways uh, of transmission that occurs between the narrators. The first one, أن يصرح بالسماع منه That the narrator clearly expresses that he had heard it, يعني he had heard the narration from the one who, who, who he is narrating from. So the narrator that he expresses and he says that he has heard the narration from the one who he is narrating from. Such as, for example, he says, سَمِعْتُ أو سَمِعْتُهُ يَقُولُ أو حَدَّثَنَا إِلَى غَيْرِ ذَلِكَ مِنَ الْأَلْفَاظِ يعني that he says that I heard from or he narrated to me. Or they narrated to, or he narrated to us, or other than that, from the well-known terminologies. So he clearly expresses they had heard the narration from the one who he is narrating from. This is the first way. The second way, and yathbuta laqiyuhu bihi dun al-samaa'i minhu. That it is established that they have met each other. That we establish that the two narrators have met each other, but not that the narrator heard from the one who is narrating from. So in the first, the first category, we have that the narrator has clearly expressed that he has heard the narration. In the second category, he hasn't expressed that he has heard the narration, but rather what is established and what is known is that both narrators that they have met each other so there is that there is that affirmation 
that the two narrators have actually met each other. طيب. Then we move on to the third and final one. And that is أَنْ يَكُونْ مُعَاصِرًا لَهُ وَلَكِنْ لَمْ يَثْبُتْ لَقِيُّهُ Meaning that he, uh, it is established that he or that they lived at the same time period. طيب. That is established that the narrator lives in the same time period as the one that he is narrating from. But it is not established that they have met each other. طيب. So this is important here. So the first one we have that the narrator is clearly expressing that he has heard the narration from the one he's narrating it from. Then we have uh, the second one in which there is no uh, expression that he has heard and the, the, he has actually heard the narration from the one who is narrating from. But we have the affirmation of al liqa We have the affirmation that they have met each other. And then we have the third type which is that we know that both of the narrators, that they lived in the same time period, that they were about in the same time period, but we have not established they are, that they have actually met each other. And this first one, this first one, meaning that the narrator clearly expresses they had heard the narration from the one who's narrating it from, that this is what some of the strict scholars of hadith have mentioned as being a condition for the ittisal, being a condition for the chain to be connected. So they have said that we have to establish that the two narrators, or that the narrator of one has heard directly from the one who is narrating from, that it has to be clear and it has to be established in order for us to declare that narration uh, as being authentic, as having a connected chain and being authentic. And the second one, uh, the second uh, way of transmission between the narrators, and that is that we have established that the two have met, but not that they have heard from each other. That this is what Al Bukhari, rahimahullah ta'ala, that he made a condition in his Sahih. That he made uh, that this second one a condition in his Sahih. So he said to the two narrators that we have to establish and affirm that they have actually met each other before we are able to accept the narration. But even we will come to this later. And the third one is that which Muslim, Imam Muslim, تعالي, that he used in his Sahih. And that is that he said that, uh, that the two narrators that we have to establish that they lived in the same, the same time period, uh, but we do not need to establish that they have actually met each other. So it's sufficient to establish that they have lived uh, in the same time period. Now we move on to what is the most authentic book of hadith. And no doubt he will echo the most authentic book of hadith is Sahih al-Bukhari, as Imam al-Nawi rahimahullah ta'ala states in his muqaddimah of Sahih Muslim, that he says rahimahullah, اتفق العلماء رحمهم الله على أن أصح الكتب بعد القرآن العزيز الصحيحان al-Bukhari wa Muslim وتلقت هما الأمة بالقبول وكتاب al-Bukhari أصحهما وأكثرهما فوائد. He says rahimahullah ta'ala, that the scholars have agreed upon that the most authentic books after the Quran are the two Sahih books of Al Bukhari and Muslim. That the Ummah have unanimously accepted them, and Al Bukhari is more authentic, or is the more authentic of the two, and contains uh, the most benefit. And why is Sahih Bukhari? the most authentic book in hadith. That why do we deem Sahih Bukhari as the most authentic book that we have in relation to hadith? And it, it uh, directly ties back and connects to that which we mentioned previously, and that is the condition that Al-Bukhari went with, uh, the condition of Al-Mulaqat, which is known as Al-Mulaqat. It has to be proven that they have met one another. 
So he never sufficed with the fact that it is established that they lived in the same time period, but rather he went a step further and said that we have to actually establish and have evidence that they have actually met one another in order to accept the narration. So if we have established that both narrators lived in the same time period, but we haven't established that they both met one another, then is the chain of narration connected? Again, if we have established that both narrators lived in the same time period, but we haven't established that they both met one another, then is the chain of narration connected? So with Al-Bukhari, as we mentioned, that the chain is not connected until we establish that the two narrators have actually met one another. And with Imam Muslim, that the chain is connected because as long as they lived in the same time period and narrated from each other, then the origin is that they have heard from one another. Because why? If they have lived in the same time period, meaning that they were about in the same time and they would attend the same circles of ilm and of hadith. So, and they were both, uh, they are both trustworthy. They're both trustworthy and they're both narrating from one another. Then therefore, uh, the asal is, the origin is that we take it as, as face value that they have heard uh, from one another, even if we do not have a direct evidence to say that they had explicitly heard or that, for example, that the narrator says, سَمِعْتُهُ يَقُولَ I heard him say, or حَدَّثَنِي or other than that. طيب. Now we move on to the levels of a Sahih Hadith. The levels of a Sahih Hadith. The maratib of a Hadith which is Sahih. And there are seven levels. Like the first one, and this is no doubt the strongest, uh, the strongest Hadith which is Sahih. That there can be, and that is مَتَّفَقَ عَلَيْهِ الْبُخَارِ وَمُسْلِمِ That which Al-Bukhari and Muslim رحمهم الله, have agreed upon. And this is the strongest form of a Sahih Hadith. Meaning that it is, uh, is met both of their conditions. The conditions of Bukhari and Muslim. They are both agreed upon it. They are both narrated it. طيب. Then we have the second one, which is من فرد به البخاري. That which Al-Bukhari narrates only. طيب. That which is found, for example, only in Sahih Bukhari and is not found in Sahih Muslim. Then we have the third one, من فرد به مسلم That which is found in the Sahih of Imam Muslim but is not found in Al-Bukhari. طيب. Then we have ما كان على شرطهما ما كان على شرطهما That which is in accordance to both their conditions. طيب. That is in accordance to both of their conditions. However, they never narrated this hadith. So you may find a hadith which is not present in Al-Bukhari, in Sahih Bukhari, in Sahih Muslim. However, it is upon both of their conditions. Meaning it fulfills all of the conditions that they set for the Sahih Hadith. From Ittisar al-Sanad, uh, wa adarat al-Ruwad, wa tamam al dabt and other than that from the, uh, the conditions that we mentioned. طيب. And then we have ما كان على شرط البخاري so that which is in accordance to the conditions of Al-Bukhari. So it is in accordance to the conditions of Al-Bukhari alone. Uh, not necessarily the conditions of Imam Muslim. Then we have مَا كَانَ عَلَى شَرْطِ Muslim. That which is uh, upon or in accordance to the conditions of Muslim. Imam Muslim, rahimahullah. So then we have مَا كَانَ عَلَى شَرْطِ غَيْرِهِمَا that which is in accordance to other than their conditions. So those are the seven maratib, the seven levels of, of, of an authentic hadith, the hadith which is sahih. Then we have the last point that we wish to mention uh, in relation to our topic of a authentic hadith. And we will conclude with this. And that is who was the first to author a sahih book of hadith? So who was the first one to have authored in this topic of, of Sahih, of being exclusively a book that is exclusively and dedicated to only collecting hadith, uh, which are Sahih. So Al-Bukhari, no doubt, 
that he was the first to specifically author a book of Sahih Hadith. So his Sahih Bukhari was exclusively only for the Ahadith that met the conditions of Sahih. And some of the scholars have said that it was Imam Malik rahimahullah ta'ala with his authorship of al muwattah Tayyip, some of them have said this. However, he never exclusively collected authentic ahadith with the conditions of Sahih as we know them now. Tayyip, even though he proceeded Bukhari, rahimahullah ta'ala, but he never dedicated his book, uh, al muwattah entirely to uh, um, um, collecting authentic ahadith with those conditions of Sahih that we now know, um, such as uh, that which Al Bukhari Taala and Imam Muslim used for their collection of a hadith which are sahiha, which are authentic. But even with that, with Allah alhamd, that we have concluded with a topic of a hadith which is sahih, and bi idnillahi Taala, that next lesson we will move on to uh, a hadith which is Hassan and we will look at the definition and the conditions pertaining to it bi'idhnillahi ta'ala wa naktafi bihada wa salli allahumma wa sallam wa barik ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen